Michelle, thanks a lot. Let's shift gears just a little bit right now. All day today, we're bringing you Alabama ghost stories to get you in the mood of Halloween. We begin this morning with CBS 42 News anchor Jack Royer, who found a house built in 1837, and the original owner still might call it home. Here in the heart of Tuscaloosa sits the Drish House, built in 1837. It used to sit on 270 acres of land here. Calling it a house is kind of unfair. It's been a church, it's been a school, now it's an event space. It was built by John and Sarah. They both died here. Some say they never even left. Do you believe in ghosts? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Soapy Jones has every reason to believe. She says she's heard the ghosts of John Drish and his daughter in the house where she now works. They do what they do, and I do what I do. And we, you know, I've never felt unwelcome. I've never felt threatened. So I generally just leave them to it. A lot about this house has changed over the years. For example, this staircase isn't original. There used to be a spiral staircase here. That's where John Drish, the man who built this place, fell to his death while drunk. His wife Sarah had a wake for him in the tower of this home, burning candles in his honor. Years later, she jumped to her death from that same tower. But she had one request, burn the same candles at her funeral. They didn't burn those candles at her funeral. Uh, depending on who you ask, they either looked really hard for them or not at all. But either way, the candles weren't burned at her funeral. And she has been unhappy about that ever since. For years now, people have reported sightings of fire in the tower, known as death lights in the tower in Catherine Tucker Wyndham's book, 13 Alabama Ghosts and Jeffrey. And where the ladies' room still is today is also the spot that a little girl still turns on the water. Sophie says she's heard her running down these stairs. She thinks that's funny. And that's the only time that I'll engage. And really, it's what you would say to any kid. OK, I get it. And then she giggles as she goes upstairs. The house is an event space now, home to parties and weddings. It's long life of different roles, but with three guests that don't seem to have plans to leave. I generally, yeah, I just leave them be. I speak when I come in, uh, good morning, hello. I say good night when I leave. Um, I figure we can coexist. They seem okay with that, so that's what we'll do. The spirits of this house's original occupants who still call it home. In Tuscaloosa, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News.